Today we'll build a computer from scratch, step by step. Don't miss it. Welcome to Johan on set and today we'll build a computer from scratch. Now I have all the parts here on the table so it's a little bit messy. I will show you in a sec but this computer is a powerful gaming computer. I will show you how it looks like, all the parts that we have already here set up. Um, so it's gonna be step by step so you're gonna see every single detail and at the end of the day I might build, uh, build this computer uh, just for gaming purposes or I might sell it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. All right. So as you can see, we have the memory here. I believe those are 16 gigabytes each. Um, we have the graphic card and um, this is a four uh, gigabyte graphic card. So this is going to be more than enough uh, for the, the gaming system. Uh, we have here the fan for the CPU. So this is um, already set up here, and we have the solid uh, solid state hard drive SSD. Uh, so that is what we're going to be using for now. I already used that one. I might use also this one. It depends. Um, I know that in one of them I have the operating system already installed, so I might want to use that one. So I'll find out which one that is. Um, um, here, this is for the. Uh, the CPU, the little paste. Um, this is my just to record. Um, and this is an antenna. This is a Wi Fi antenna here for this system. Um, and on this side, we have also all the screws that we're going to be um, using. All the screws here that we're going to be using for the case. And my beautiful, my beautiful here. Um, uh, Supernova 750P2. So this is going to be more than enough 750 watt. Um, so that will be more than enough for this system. Um, and last but not least, uh, we have the motherboard. Um, so this is pretty much what everything's going to be installed here. Uh, this is a top up gaming. Um, and uh, if you want to see more details for that, uh, sorry for the shaking there, then you can see the type of motherboard um, that we're talking about here, the Top Gaming X750 Plus with Wi Fi. Again, the Wi Fi is what I was just showing you uh, early. And now we also have the CPU. Uh, so, again, um, this will be more than enough. And I believe this is a 16 um, threads. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have to take a look again. This is an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. Uh, so I have another one on the other computer that I use. It's, it's a lot more powerful than the other one. But again, this is uh, what we have. So let's go. Let's start building. Um, oh, I, see, yeah, I, almost, I almost forgot. Um, this is a... And I'm going to put it right on top here. This is what we're going to be using. This is the the case. And again, this case is is um, it's a little bit small. Um, I already built a computer in it. I assembled the computer, but this is the one that we are going to be using uh, for this build. Um, it has three fans. Um, it has pretty much all that we need. So we're going to be placing those fans um, and assembling everything. Stretch a step by step, so stay tuned. Um, again, I think this is a good time for you to go to that subscribe button and, pre and press the subscribe button there so you can follow all my videos. And um, also press like if you think this uh, video uh, has been helpful to you so far and um, I also have a few more channels um, Facebook Instagram and Twitter um, they're right here on the corner so uh, feel free to follow me on those as well all right so let's start with the build this is gonna be fun guys all right so right now we are 
taking a look at the inside of the case. Um, see all these cables here. I know that this is a USB cable here. So, actually, quick thing here. So this size of the of the fan. Not sure if you guys can see it here. This one goes on the outside because you want air to blow inside uh, the fan. So that's why you have to put it like this. So we're gonna put uh, two on top, and then we're gonna put one on the back, like this, right here. So um, let's take a look at the on the back. We might have to move some cables um, because we need to put the the motherboard. So this is the back. There you go. This is the back here. Uh, this is where the the, the, the power uh, supply is going to be, the 750P2. I'm going to put it right in here. Um, this is going to be the, the back of the computer. And these are all the cables um, that we're going to be using. So there's more cables here that are going to be taken out. So let's remove all the cables from the back of the computer. That way we can have it clean inside. And then we'll move those cables back in. When, when we're ready. Well, right now we just need to have that inside nice and neat. So, it's a lot of noise, as you probably <laughs> noticed. Um, so, let's go ahead first. This is my uh, CPU. Let me show you the, the cable. Let me just put this on the floor here. Yeah. And let me focus on this first. Uh, this is really important. So, uh, we have the the VGA cable here, um, the graphic card that I'm the, that I'm using. Um, I have one graphic card, so this cable is for the graphic card or the GPU, and this is for the be for the CPU. Know that the CPU in this case will use two of them, so um, that is something that I'm going to be using uh, because the motherboard requires it too. Um, and then we have the SATA cables. So these cables are for the hard drive. Um, so this is going to be for hard drive and one of them also is going to be powering some of the devices uh, that we're going to be installing. So we I put three. In reality you just need two. Uh, but I put three just in case because I am planning to put a uh, maybe a few hard drives. And then the big one here, oh this is the, the powerful one here. Uh, this is going to be for the MB motherboard. Um, so that's what we're going to be using. As you probably notice, um, this is a, a GPU, uh, CPU cable. Um, so we are going to be using CPU 1 and CPU 2 just because, uh, you know, that is what the, the motherboard requires for the CPU. Um, so again, it's more power for the for the CPU. It's a power for CPU, so that's what we're going to be using. So this is going to be the first thing we're going to be installing. We're going to be putting this baby inside the case, um, and then we're going to tie that up. So the better cable you have in it already set up, the you know the better it is because later on, if you want to uh, connect more hard drive or more things to it, and it's really hard to go back in and, and remove that. So. That's the, the reason why um, I ended up putting extra uh, cable for uh, those SATA cables. So let's uh, let's go ahead and flip this up again. And we're gonna be installing the power supply. So again, we're gonna have it's gonna be right in here. And this right here is gonna be the back. This is the front of the computer. Um, so how it works, as you can see, this one also has a fan, you know, um, same rotation, the inside fan is the same rotation, um, just to um, keep that way, the fan that way. So we're gonna put it that inside, like this. Okay, the cable, okay, I'm gonna hold it right here. And there it is, so, let me just start grabbing those screws that I put aside. So this is the screws I'm going to be using. Um, so I'm going to be putting those in the back. Just to tie that up. Um, I think it's going to be easier to this. OK. 
everything. And there it is. So we're just going to move it to the left. I have my son Gabriel here watching what I'm doing. Um, so hopefully he'll be able to compute later on in the future. Bye, Gabe. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So we're just going to do this one here. Well, that one is playing hard to get, so we can go with the old ones then. All right, so doing this one first. I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing, but just putting those screws in there for uh, to get the the power supply nice and tight so it doesn't move or anything. Okay, so that's number two. I could have been using a something to tie it, in, but I'll just use my hands for now. It seems like that's not working. Okay. All right, so we have three, and we we're gonna put the four there. There you go. So at the end, when everything is set up, then I'll go in with a uh, and, and tie it a lot better than it is now, a little bit tighter. So, all right, so. That is the power supply. Uh, we're going to use the cable to connect that and just turn it on back on uh, on and off there. So, uh, the next thing we're going to do, uh, let's go ahead and get the molder bore in it. Um, just so that we can have something and then start moving cables around. Um, right. And the molder bore already have the um, you have the, the, the CPU already installed, so I'm going to show you anyways how that looks like. Gabe, if you can pass me the board board. There you go. Thank you. All right. So this is the, uh, the motor board that we're going to be using. Um, so just to let you know, as you can see this thing here, let me just set something here. So to... If you have a new one um, and, and out of the box and you need to install it, so this is a clip right here. So you click, so you bring it up. So now you can just wiggle it just a little bit, not too much because you don't want to ruin the CPU. Those things will be pricey uh, depending on what you get. So we're gonna put that back in, okay. So it falls right in it and just press it a little bit, not too much. Then go and just bring it down and boom, done. So it's nice and stable, it's connected. Later on, we're gonna put a little bit of paste on top to, uh, for the fan. Um, so again, let's, um, let's take a look how this will work. Um, so the first thing you need to fit, find out is the back where all the cables are gonna be connected to. So it's gonna be this way, All right? And let's move, uh, yep, so this right here. So that's why I needed to move that out of the way. So we're gonna put it that in there. This fan also needs to be moved out of the way for now. As I mentioned before, this is a small, um, it's a, a small um, case. So everything will be a little bit tight, but um, it should be fine at the end. I already built a computer with this case and it was fine. So I'm trusting that this will be fine too. Um, so now before we go in, uh, we're going to uh, use the back. This is for the back of the, the, the motherboard. So everything is nice and labeled. So we're gonna put that in. Don't tie it too hard, too tight. 
uh, just enough uh, pressure. You don't want to break the molder bore. That's the last thing you need. So we have that set up and um, so the next thing that we want to do, um, if you want to do the, uh, the, the fans that uh, you can do that right now, this is a good time to do it. Let's make sure uh, they're nice and in place. So let's do that uh, next. So we're going to turn this. I want you guys to see this, so maybe we'll move in to this side. So at the end of the uh, the video, uh, I will tell you how much everything costs to put together right now. In 2021, uh, I, I mentioned the year just because um, things are a little bit more expensive than expensive than before. Uh, everything just hit, and everything COVID, um, gas price, and. Um, so many the, the then when it comes to the hard drive part then you know, Chia happened where it's a uh, Cryptocurrency that you mine or you can say you'll plot in this case um, with uh, With hard drive space so hard drives weren't up to the roof and you know everything got really really expensive and then also the 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 CPU itself Everything was really expensive too because you can also mine with GPU so uh, <laughs> So thank you, cryptocurrency. Anyways, um, so again, right now we have my fan set up. Let's go with the, the next thing and is the cable. Just trying to put the cables where they belong. So that way we can start connecting um, the molder board and everything else. So. All right, so let's flip this one here. All right, so. There's a lot of cables. Let's start with this one. So the big one is gonna, the big one here is gonna be the motherboard one. So we're gonna bring that inside. All right. And then we have everything else here. So for the hard drive, we actually going to use this one here um, we can either uh, connect the hard drive on, on this slot here um, things like that sorry you guys can see anything here. we can either connect it here or connect it there that will be fine too so we just need to remove it first uh, from for the case I already have it in the case so but we're not going to do that we'll do the hard drive last because as I mentioned before um, I have an operating system already installed in one of these hard drives so that's the one I want to use um, just because I also have some information in it and I want to check <laughs> to see what is it that I left in it um, so uh, that being said um, let's go and let's start putting all these cables in there and then we'll figure out where they go. Let me just do one by one. That might be a good idea. And if some of those cables we might need to put it through here, uh, then we'll do that. Why not? So as for the SATA cables for hard drive and 
Uh, I, I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna do one for the inside, and the other, the other ones I'm just gonna leave it um, on, on this space here, on this space. Yeah. So I have two of those. All right, so I'm just gonna put it right here for now, um, and then this is gonna be for the the graphic card. So we'll find out where the graphic card is gonna be located. We'll do that almost the last thing, just because I don't want to have that in the middle of everything. All right, so all right. So the first thing that I notice is where my, if I can just bring the, the, the camera here or not. Uh, the first thing that I notice is where my um, GPU, uh, CPU, uh, sorry, okay. the motherboard is going to be uh, connected to. So that is the biggest cable that I have here. It's going to be this one here. So uh, let me do like that. And he has a clip on the back. So just make sure that you find the right um, connection. So you just need to connect it normally. There you go. And just push it down. When it's connected, just push it down. It's right here. And you're going to hear a click. There you go. So that is connected. Now that should get power from the power supply whenever it's connected. Um, so let's go with the rest. Uh, we have the SATA right here. Um, so I have my, my cable. Um, I'm going to be using this one. And they all label. Um, so the eight, six, um, and then they have some extra ones. So th there's four here and then there, a, there are four more on this side. So set up one and two, three and four. So I'm going to do this one here. That's a little tricky there, but if I can do it this way. Yep, so I'll do it this way. I'll put the uh, hard drive cable inside. So again, for the hard drive, there are two cables, um, one of them, uh, is in this case is going to be the one it sends all the the, the, the information um, and data and everything that is about the hard drive and the other part is the power you need to have some type of power on the hard drive this in this case we're going to be using an SSD a solid state hard drive uh, data drive um, so that one is all set we have also the, the memory stick here We'll be connecting those later on too. Um, all right, awesome. So that looks pretty good. So the next thing that we are going to do, uh, I want to do this, uh, maybe not last, but let me just start connecting more cables um, and then we'll figure that out. So, so this we have, let's go with a CPU. We have CPU here, one, and we have, CPU, another CPU cable. So we have two of those. And those are the ones that we're going to be using for uh, the CPU power. Um, so let's uh, let's go ahead and they're a little bit tricky because they're uh, all the way in here. As I mentioned before, this is a um, small case. So let's go ahead and see how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna use an A, instead of A pin, we're gonna be using 12. Okay, so we'll use half of one in the other, on the other side. So let's do the four first. Yeah, I really don't didn't like how I did it last time. Maybe just really... Okay. We just need to hear that click. There you go. Awesome. And the second one. All right, so we put four there. Let's do the other four. 
So my recommendation is whenever you're buying a case, um, buy a, a case that is big enough for you to move things around and for you to expand too because um, you might think that you just need one hard drive um, but eventually it was like, you know what, let me get another hard drive um, in the future, you know, and, and uh, then you're in the situation where you have to rebuild the whole computer because you don't have enough space um, and also if you decide to buy another graphic card, uh, another GPU. Um, so it, yeah, again, it's better to go big than, to, than going small. at least in this case so all right let's try that again it's still a little bit tricky there okay all right i think we finally got it so we got the four on one side and battling to get the other one in So this is the belt one, and it went in, awesome. You have the two, um, you have the, the motherboard cable, now you have the CPU cable, and now this is for the, the GPA or the graphic card. Right, so we'll do that after so so far so good now let's go ahead and take a look at what other cables we might have so on the back we have this little chip here uh, and that is pretty much for the the, the USB the everything it's connected all up here um, so everything is set up including the LED lights so it's gonna be nice uh, in there when we're done so the first thing that we notice is power we need some type of power um, so we're gonna connect that right now so we'll use this one here this one's gonna be using for the hard drive and this one's gonna be using for the power um, at least to power that up so Right. So that one is connected. Um, so this is for the hard drive. I'm just going to put that in on this side. Now let's keep looking at what we have available. Uh, this one here, I believe this is the the MW, but this is for the uh, USB. Yep, yeah, USB 3.0. So we're going to be connecting that in. And again. Some motherboard, they might not have all these connectors, um, but again, we'll figure that out. Now, this is the HD audio, and we also have another USB. All right, and we have a VDG. So it's also in this one, and there's two more. I'm guessing it's gonna pull the power. Um, LD, um, LED, that's another LED there and hard drive LED and also some power. This is for the power switch right on top. Power switch, I always get a little bit confused because how they label it. Um, you have to go in and just make sure that they're connected in the right place. So, um, let's go ahead and bring all these cables to the other side and I'm gonna go to one of these holes here. I think I might have better luck, and if not, then we'll go back in. I mean, that's what we're here for, to figure things out. Get all my cables in there. Okay, and there's another cable here. Put everything in there. All right, so that is it. So I'm just gonna pull that so it doesn't move. Get around. 
see? Okay. So let's put this here. Alrighty. Oh, I should read the my, my cable didn't come in there. There is my 3.0 USB. So let's figure out what this um, motherboard comes with. Again, different motherboards, they're, they're, they're different today, you know. Uh, this one, I believe this is not a, doesn't have an integrated graphic card. I have another computer that have an integrated graphic card, um, which is awesome. Uh, but this one doesn't have one, but you know, we have a graphic card that we're gonna be installing, so we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Um, but the reason why I mentioned that is because, again, they're all different. Uh, when it comes to um, motherboards, what they come with and everything. So the first thing we are going to check is to see is um, the USB, uh, the 3.0. Let's see if this one, <clears throat> uh, those comes with that. And as you can see right here, right here, this is the uh, USB 3.0. So we're gonna be connecting that in. So that was nice and convenient. So, and there you go. And you always like to hear that click sound at the end. And I already see that in here, we have some more cables that we are going to be um, using so right here. This is a VDG. So we're going to be coming around here. All the way on the side and just connecting that in. And again, you don't want to break any of those, uh, anything in the motherboard. Um, you, might, <laughs> you might have to end up buying a new one. Uh, <laughs> so the older uh, cables, and again, I need to find out where my power is and everything. Just by looking at it, it seems like my power uh, button is going to be coming from here so I'm going to do that one last and um, I'll tell you why later so uh, also the reset button they're right next to each other so and then we will have the power LED so we might have to look on the menu um, on that one on those uh, but again Let's, um, let's continue. Right, so we have most of the things that we need when it comes to building a computer. We have a, a USB here. Um, um, we have also connected the, the motherboard, the power of the, for the motherboard. We also connected the CPU uh, power. Um, we have connected the CPU here. We can still run the CPU without using the, um, the fan, but your computer gonna burn up quick uh, because the CPU tend to get really, really uh, hot. Um, so, and then we also need the memory uh, to be set up. So um, let's go ahead and bring the, um, let me see if there's anything there that might be blocking that. No, nope, nothing is there. So this computer has, you can put up to four different type of uh, graphic card. Uh, they're already set up here so we're going to be let's make sure this is all bit yeah so this is the one we're going to be putting in and let's make sure the back goes first huh so that is not going right now, so. Um, I see why. So, uh, as you can see, this one, uh, you can connect different type of um, uh, uh, cables, the DVI, uh, the HDMI cables, and. So it, it, the space you need two of this to be open. So in this case, we're just gonna put it on top on this one here, since that one is already open. 
and that should I click in right there okay and I just make sure that it's locked so that is nice and locked okay. and I'm gonna be also using the screws on that side to just make sure um, that it doesn't move uh, so for this one here <clears throat> we're gonna be bringing the the cables the VGA cables and they're gonna be right here this is gonna be nice and easy all right so that is nice and connected um, and that is all you need for this graphic card if you want to be placing that um, on the racer then you will have to con make the connection uh, differently but you already it's already getting power and it's already transferring information from the uh, to the motherboard um, so now let's uh, bring in the fan and as I mentioned before we need to put a little bit of uh, paste on let's see if I can find my there you go my CPU um, thermal uh, grease I call it paste so there you go Again, don't put too much. <laughs> That's the only recommendation. Don't put too much. Um, so this is what I do. I just do. Let's see, one. Come on, one, 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 one. That's all. That's all you need. That's more than enough. Okay. Now, one thing that um, that you need <clears throat> that you need on this is to connect it to, and as you can see, my connectors, see those here? They're not there, so that means that I have to connect those brackets, um, two brackets on each side before I do this. Um, so let me go ahead and grab those brackets um, so we can get that connected. So these are the two brackets on each side. So, so it's going to go like this. Uh, one on this side and the other one on this side. And then it's going to be connected through here. So, all right. So let's go ahead and I end up installing the, the two brackets on each side. So just gonna do it this way. That way I can have the the fan right here uh, connected. Uh, actually, I'll have to do it the other way. So I'll have to have the fan cable connected this way, uh, just because the brackets are on each side. So connect the the one on the left side first. Okay, so it's connected. Now I just need to connect the other one. So I need to pull the thing first, and then go down. There you go. So now that I have it connected, I just need to pull there to tie them up. Okay, so I just move a little bit there just to move the paste or the thermal uh, paste there and then I just tie it all the way up all right so you, you heard the click that means that it's nice there you go beautiful so um, as I said um, right before this is going to be for the fan to get that moving so there the cable is right there so we're just gonna and get that installed. And through all the whole motherboard, there, there are places where you can connect the fan, so that wouldn't be a problem whatsoever. All right, so that is good. So let's take a look at these two other cables. 
Right, so we have um, another cable here. This is the USB. So as you can see, this pin here, I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but one of them is already blocked. The one on that side. So if you look at the molder bore, um, there are couple there here. So you'll notice it right away when you see it. Um, so there's two here that you can use. Um, so again, um, just look around the molder bore. Um, if you do have a molder bore, make sure that you read the menu just to make sure where everything is. Um, I already read the menu on this one uh, just because I already set up once. Um, but it's always good to go back. I definitely gonna have to do it for the power supply, for the power uh, button, and also for the reset button. Just because they're here, I mean, I can play around, look at it, take pictures, and, and just so I can zoom, zoom in and, and see what it says. But just a, a recommendation whenever you have a new molder board, just get familiar with it. Um, that way you don't connect things on the wrong place. Um, so not that it, this this is rocket sign or anything like it but uh, again that's something that you want to do so again we uh, also have uh, this cable here we're going to be connecting that here this uh, again i keep going back to this uh this uh, uh case is so small uh, i definitely i'm going to show you my older bill that i have which is definitely um, a bigger case, um, more powerful computer, of course, but I just love how much space you have and you don't have to go around going crazy uh, trying to uh, figure things out. All right, so we have the power button set up. Uh, we have the uh, the hard drive. Uh, we actually haven't done the hard drive, so we have everything else but the hard drive uh, to be connected to. And then we're gonna be also setting up the monitor um, just to make sure that we get uh, to see if Windows start up um, or if there's any errors. Um, so again, uh, let me uh, go ahead and flip the, the computer. And when we're done with all this setup, then we go to the back of the computer um, and we kind of organize the cable, but they're not, it's not too bad right now. So as you can see, there's my stuff coming down. So let's figure out the hard drive. Let's do that right now. Okay. All right. This is the hard drive we're gonna be using. It's already in the case. Um, so we, we're not, as I mentioned before, we're just gonna plug it in. We're not even gonna connect it uh, to the, um, the case, just to make sure um, that it works and is what we need. And then we can go from there. So we'll do power. Okay. Again, nothing is connected, so you don't have to worry about that right now. Actually, let me disconnect it from there and connect the power. Connect this one first. All right. I always like my hard drive to get the power first, even though it's, everything gets the power at the same time. But anyways, um, so the next thing is my cable, my SATA cable. All right, so let's come up, connect that. Okay, so we have the hard drive. We're just gonna leave it right here, right underneath. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, so it's gonna be right here. So, all right. So we have everything we need. Make sure that's connected there. Um, I also have the cable uh, to connect the computer to. But um, let me get a HDMI, uh, HDMI cable. one here we'll connect back to the back we have an HDMI cable here connect that to that computer and we're also going to be connecting the antenna um, that'll be for Wi-Fi 
So we'll do HDMI. Okay. And the antenna. We're gonna do right now. In reality, we don't really need to connect it at this point. Um, but we'll connect it anyways. That's how we roll. So I have my antenna already in, and this is the antenna. Uh, let me just I'll bring this thing down here. And get it ready to. So this is the antenna that we are referring to. So this is uh, for Wi-Fi, of course. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, actually install the. The last thing we're going to be doing is installing those memory card. So we have three memory cards that we're going to be installing. Um, so let's open those. These are 16 gigabytes each. So we're installing those. Okay. One down. Installing the other one. So just make sure they're they click in and they're nice and connected. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. The power um, supply is already connected, but off, of course. And my monitor is connected to. Um, again, we might have to connect this with a VGA cable first, but we'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll try the car first and if it doesn't work, then we'll go with the, with the VGA. All right, so let's go ahead and turn that monitor on. All right, and power supply on. And let's go ahead and turn this on. Oh. There you go, there's a little cable here touching that. So we're gonna have to, yep, there you go. All right, let's see if we have anything going, not yet. There you go. So we are in the BIOS right now. Seems like the monitor was off. Um, is giving me uh, pretty much what you guys can see. It has no keyboard. We haven't attached any keyboard, of course. Uh, we just need to make sure. Um, it gives me. Um, it gives me everything uh, when it comes to um, my CPU. Yeah, the, my motherboard, also the BIOS and everything, um, the speed, of course, and the memory, how much uh, gigabytes I have. Seems like I have uh, 24. I get, I'm guessing I miscalculated, but again, <laughs> uh, for how many uh, gigabytes those were, so I'm guessing it was uh, um, 8 gigabytes each. Um, so uh, then we, we don't have anything. Uh, detected. We need to connect my keyboard and we need to connect my um, everything else is needed. Uh, my SATA, uh, SanDisk, my SSD hard drive uh, got um, recognized too, so that is great. Um, so let me go ahead and 
Um, turn it off first. We'll connect the C the uh, we'll connect the uh, keyboard and the mouse to it, and they go from there. So just let me just cut when and shut it off. keyboard and mouse from the other computer that I have. Um, I'll be connecting my the USB, uh, my uh, keyboard on the back of the computer. And then I'm also gonna be testing that, um, the, the USB 3.0, just to make sure that also works. So there's my mouse and the keyboard. Right next to it. All right, so both of them are connected. So let's take a look one more time and see what we get. It's beautiful in there. There you go. That is my. And that's the keyboard. So we're going to see this uh, a fan error. Uh, please enter it up to recover BIOS settings. CPU fan error. All right, we're trying that again. Um, I switched the CPU to another uh, cable, power cable to um another location, so let's take a look. There we go, that looks better. There you go. Yeah, so I, apparently I put it on the um, different port for the CPU, so, but um, as you can see now, there you go. So we got Windows up. Now let's see what counter was that. All right, so, I need to figure out what is in it, but um, as you can see, there, there we go. We, uh, Windows is up and running. My build right here, um, so this one has 24 gigabytes of memory. It also have the SSD, which is, I think it's 120 gigabytes um, hard drive. Um, it has the Ryzen 7 3700X. Um, I believe it's the X version that we have in there. It also have a top gaming with Wi-Fi capability. Uh, it's already there. Um, the um, also, the 4 gigabyte strict um, Asus uh, graphic card, uh, so it's more than enough for you to start gaming. Um, I know I have another graphic card just like it, and my son used it to play Minecraft. Um, so, so far, so good. All my things here are also working. So, so far, um, you know, I like the bill. Uh, again, I'm gonna have to log in to see uh, what else um, we have from this computer. All right, so right now is a good time for you to uh, go ahead and press the subscribe button, click like, um, and uh, if you have co comments uh, about this video, please make sure you leave them below. I would love to hear from you. And, um, and uh, also, if um, if you can also go to my other um, sites, I also have a, a a Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account. Make sure you also subscribe to those. I usually leave pictures and videos uh, throughout the week just to keep in touch with you. Um, again, this has been a nice build, and ho hopefully I'll build more like this. 
Um, I'll leave how much everything cost me to build this on the description um, and the links where you can find uh, some of the um, the hardware that I use. Again, until the next video, Godspeed.